is your name, please? My name is Cus Tomato. What is your name, please? My name is Cus Tomato. What is your name, please? My name is Cus Tomato. Two of these people are imposters. Only one is the real Cus Tomato and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. And now, here is our host, Bud Collier. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to To Tell the Truth. Now may I introduce our... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not, if I was a little extra exuberant, but welcome home, Polly. Thank you. It is so good to oh, be back. I, I saw your show, First Impressions, the other night, and I was just a doggone proud of you. You thought I owned you. Ah, uh, thank Brought the whole you. family, all except one. Got to come back with her now. Have good. It's just good. great. Enjoy. Thank you. He was a two of you now, you and Ralph Bellamy and Sunrise at Campobello. What are we going to do? Kitty, something for you and Tom and Miss... Well, that'll leave me Tom's here. Tom's got it. <laughs> I'm so glad Polly's back. Thank I, you. I'm dear. working so, on something, bud. Yes, you are. What are you working on? <laughs> what is it, Tom? I don't know whether I should tell you now. Yes, tell me. It's off-Broadway, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's called Come Play With Me. It's a musical. <laughs> yeah. Well, say. All righty. <laughs> now, <laughs> battle... <laughs> And good luck. And now, Pat, will you please follow along with your copies of this very first affidavit as I read it to you. What are the rules? <laughs> You've forgotten them. You'll catch on. I, Customato, have been in the prize fight business for more than 30 years. I own a gymnasium here in New York. Fight harder. Uh, number three, uh, th there is a prize fighter who's won three different championships. What is his name? Uh, Henry Armstrong. Henry Armstrong. Number one, there's a man who's held three different champion titles. What is his name? Henry Armstrong. Uh, number two, what is Jersey Joe Walcott's real name? Arnold Cream. Uh, number three, who did Mr. Patterson win the uh, championship from? Archie Moore. Archie Moore. Um, number one, did, did Archie Moore ever fight under any other weight? He fights under the light heavyweight. He's the light heavyweight champ. Ralph Bellamy. Number one, uh, what ex-champion uh, very successfully uh, went into the grocery business? Number two, can Sorry. you answer that question? Number three, do you know? Well, I'll tell you, it's Jess Willard. <laughs> uh, I've heard of him. Number one, where is Stillman's gym? 54th Street and 55th Street on 8th Avenue. Number two, what uh, very important announcement did uh, Mr. Stillman recently make? That he was going to retire, but he didn't yet. Uh, number three, where is your gym? 14th Street, Manhattan. <laughs> Kitty Carla. Number one, it says, uh, I've sort of known that fighters can lose about 10 pounds in a day or so. Uh, it's a very valuable secret. What would I have to do to lose this kind of weight? <laughs> well, I would think that you'd have to punch a punching bag. Spar yes. a few rounds with uh, spa mates. Yes. Uh, run uh, three or four miles a day. Yes. And keep on a low calorie diet. It's easy. Very I'll easy. Start tomorrow. <laughs> Number two. Let's what start is... with the last one first, Kitty. <laughs> what does cuss really stand for? Constantine. Constantine, not cuss words. No, no, no. Cuss words. <laughs> Number three. Who's promoting your next fight? Uh, Cecil Rhodes. Number one. Cecil Rhodes. Yes. <laughs> Tom Poston, please. Uh, he is. That's, that's very interesting. Number three, uh, who is promoting your next championship fight? Was Number that a question for me? Number three, yes. who is promoting your next oh, championship fight? Oh, I thought that's the question I was just asked. Is that the... Well, that's maybe he'd I like meant. to hear it again. Oh. Well, I did answer seven? Cecil Rowe. Well, uh, let me put it this way, number three. What is... Uh, the name of the opponent for the championship match? Uh, Brian London. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go into why I'm asking that question so significantly, but I didn't realize that, that the bell had just rung. <laughs> but I'll Time get him next vote. round. <laughs> well, excuse me, Tom. And without consultation, will you mark your ballots? And in so doing, of course, as usual, select number one, number two, or number three. 
And the team who challenges will get $250 for every incorrect vote. Okay, panel all voted? How about you, Polly? For whom did you vote on your first trip back? I voted for number two uh, because he knew who Jersey, Wol Jersey Joe Walcott's real name was. I think he's the one I asked because I don't remember too well, but I think it was him. <laughs> and if it was, that's the one I vote for. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Ralph? Number two. He uh, seemed to know all the answers and I think was a little quicker with it. And I think the way he said his name sounded more like it might be his name. Okay. Kitty, what about your vote? I voted for number two also because I thought he pronounced D'Amato as if he really had Italian background. Mm -hmm. And Tom Poston, you pick out? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask any questions. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was I thought it was number three, but I would like to ask if I may uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we have it. For whatever reasons we made up our minds the way we did, you've heard them. And if you're playing along with us at home as we trust you do each week, let's find out right now how right or wrong you may be. Now I can't really think of a better way to uh, unmask the true identity of which one of these gentlemen is the real customado than the uh, heavyweight champion himself. So, ladies and gentlemen, Floyd Patterson. a very warm welcome to you from us as well as that one that must have warmed your heart from the audience out there. I wonder if you do us a favor now and let us know which one of these men is your real manager, Customato. very much. Uh, uh, Floyd, I'd like to ask you a question or two along with welcoming you here and thank you for taking the time to come see us because it seems to me I read in the paper within the last two or three weeks you had an addition to your family, didn't you? Yes, I did. A girl. A little girl? Yes. Now, does that make a boy and a girl? No, uh, two girls. Two girls? Yes. Well, the next time is the charm time because I had two girls and then a boy, so the next one will be the future heavyweight champion of the world. Now, who do you fight next? Uh, Brian London, I believe, uh, It'll be sometime in April. You want to reveal yes. what round you're going to put him away in or not? Well, I don't generally do that. You don't do that. I know you don't. You're a very modest guy. Well, good luck to you. Yes, sure. Go ahead. Along the same lines. I didn't realize, the reason I was pressing this so much, I didn't realize that uh, the championship was going to be at stake in that match. Mm -hmm. Is it? Obviously it is. Yes, it is. In any fight that I have, unless it's merely an exhibition, championship will be at stake. Attaboy. And may, may I add something to this question Make to clarify? Short, running short of time. Yes. That this man he's fighting is ranked number four in the world ratings. Well, number four. Oh, I know he's a tough opponent. I thought that, that your uh, deal with Rosenstone and... Uh, and, uh, and Gildenstern, yes, from Hamlet. I and Johansson oh, yeah. precluded one, you any you previous would you, uh, uh, heavyweight number, what, Would you tell us, number no, one, who you your... really are and what you do, please? <laughs> Who are you, sir? What do you do? My name is Peter Rossi. I'm the passenger representative for the French Line in New York City. <laughs> uh, sir, sir, what about you? My name is Nick Mazuris. I own a neutral corner restaurant on West 55th Street. <laughs> <laughs> well, checking up on our score, we find that there were one, two, three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 from Marlboro. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. Floyd, thank you again, and kiss that baby for us, will you please? And give your wife our best also. And on your way out, you'll find a card of Marlboro cigarettes for each of you. Good night and good luck. Lots of good luck in your next fight. I'd like to tell you that Floyd Patterson first put on boxing gloves when he was a student at the Wiltwick School for Boys. Wiltwick, which cares for 100 of the most underprivileged and troubled boys in New York City, is currently in the midst of a fundraising campaign, and Customato has asked that we send his winnings along as a contribution in gratitude.